Hello and welcome to Fin Business. And we are at this wonderful place called Cyboss. And I have with me the chairman of India Swift, Mr. M V Nair. Since the evolution of India Swift in 2011-12, and till today, what has happened? What has been the objectives? And what are the various things that are happening in India Swift that is going to facilitate corporate banking, trade finance, and various other B two B activities of the financial sector? Actually, it's um, I would rather say we are in a very important venue that is uh, where the Cyboss is held, where about eight thousand bankers, IT uh, personnel, all come together. It is in uh, one of these uh, Cyboss when the announcement was made by Swift uh, Global. That we will set up a separate company in India to actually digitize the domestic, um, you know, trade-related uh, 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 activities uh, in India, and it's uh, significant impo important for the reason for Swift Global. This is the first time we decided to set up a separate company within the country. So, to that extent, uh, India is uh, uh, in a much better position. Uh, having said that, how the company is formed? The company is formed with the Swift SAR as the major shareholder and the technology provider, and top uh, nine Indian banks as the founding members, which is uh, State Bank of India, Punjab National Bank, Bank of Baroda, Bank of India, Union Bank of India, and Canara Bank from the public sector space, and from private sector, it's Access Bank, ICICI Bank, and uh, HDFC Bank. And recently, two more multinational banks have joined, that is Citibank and Standard Chartered. So we have a good uh, combination of uh, public sector, private sector, and the um, you know, multinational banks and Swift ASR coming together uh, to actually provide the trade-related digitization in the country. Look at uh, Swift. Swift is uh, pri primarily, it is a messaging organization. We provide um, you know, very safe, uh, very resilient, um, you know, uh, I mean, uh, messaging capability for almost 11,000 banks globally in more than 200 countries. So this same standard coming to India, that is what the benefit is all about. If you look at a bank, they are dependent on multiple vendors for their connectivity. It may be connecting with the uh, companies. So for multiple vendors you depend on, which is a huge risk, is a huge cost, and we standardize all those things. Uh, so what it actually means is, if you have to be, uh, you know, a corporate has to transact, the corporate to the banks, banks to the market infrastructure, the stock exchange, all will be swift, um, you know, um, connect, uh, connect, connected. So it's, uh, that is what the benefit we are bringing in. When, um, you know, ease of doing business has to be improved, um, it necessitates entire trade related thing also gets, uh, you know, uh, digitized. And that is where we will be playing a very important role. Thank you.